Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Spice Climber. Today we're doing salsa. I have uh, four different kinds of salsa. This is actually a taco sauce because you couldn't find the salsa. The salsa actually means sauce so I don't really care. It's gonna be pretty similar. It's just a bit more runny than the other one. They taste pretty much the same, I think. <coughs> so we have Old El Paso, hot, Tostitos hot, Stonewall Kitchens Ghost Pepper Salsa, and K. John's Reaper Salsa. <coughs> and um, I do have a few, couple of spoons and nachos can't have salsa without nachos. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> let's start with the one I think is the mildest. Old El Paso is uh, pretty much the first brand that came to Sweden. It's, uh, late 80s, early 90s is when tacos came to Sweden. and. Uh, Back then, Old El Paso had 80% of the market. Now, there's other brands that sell more, but they're still around and they're quite well known worldwide. So I think that was a, it's a pretty good one to review among the others. So, ingredient-wise, uh, crushed tomatoes, water, cornstarch, dried onion, salt, dried jalapeno, sugar, and spices. It smells kind of tomato ish. Clip in twice. Forgot about that. Hello. Yeah, it has a little bit of a heat. Um, do detect onion. It's, a, it's an okay sauce, I suppose. Um, not very, not very interesting, but I guess it works if you don't have anything else. Uh, I will probably not buy it again. <laughs> uh, like I said, we had these when I was a kid, and uh, I liked them then. Now, when I've tried a few others, it's not really my preferred sauce um, but it's okay I guess and it's the cheapest one of them as well so yeah for tacos I suppose 
suppose it works. So uh, let's move on to the other one. This is uh, Tostitos Hot Habanero, Chunky Habanero Salsa. And this contains tomato puree, water, diced tomatoes in tomato juice, jalapenos, pep, uh, onion, vinegar, salt, habanero peppers, garlic, arugas. So yeah, to Tostitos, I kind of like the, their um, nachos, especially the cheese ones. This smells like there's some herbs in it. I detect the garlic. Can't smell the habaneros. is pretty far down on the list so they're probably not like super super prominent <laughs> but let's try it anyway uh, so oh, there's some pretty big chunks chunks of uh, pepper in there like green uh, I think they're peppers more flavor in that one I can tell immediately definitely taste the onion and the garlic uh, taste the jalapenos don't really detect the habaneros but there's definitely more spice in this one than uh, the uh, old El Paso one. Um, yeah, there's <coughs> pretty big chunks of onion and tomatoes, jalapenos. Especially the lime uh, lime nachos, uh, among my favorites. <clears throat> okay, let's um, head over to this one. Uh, Don Wall Kitchen Ghost Pepper Salsa. This is the most spicy salsa I've found in regular stores in Sweden. Um, <clears throat> I really like this one. Eaten tons and tons of it. Uh, <clears throat> this is uh, quite, I like the label on it. It says, From the moment you open this jar, you'll know this salsa is not for the timid. Fired up with a tasty combination of hot and spicy peppers, big ripe tomatoes, onions, spices, and more. <clears throat> There is no doubt this salsa may be the hottest salsa you have ever tried. It delivers a deliciously smoky and powerful hit of heat. Try it in your favorite Tex-Mex uh, recipes or serve with chips. It will definitely be noticed. Ice water not included. That's a quite bold statement of them. Um, so. Uh, Let's uh, try it out. <coughs> uh, 
this is uh, you can see some really really big chunks of uh, all kinds of peppers oh I forgot to read the label that's uh, ingredients tomatoes jalapenos uh, onion tomato puree green chili peppers distilled vinegar salt dehydrated uh, ghost pepper dehydrated garlic spices dehydrated cilantro this I can uh, smell the cilantro I really like cilantro and I'm, uh, I really like it in salsas so uh, that's always a plus let's go go ahead and try it Now in this one you can really taste the ghost peppers. Um, it's um, you can taste the cilantro, um, taste the garlic a little bit, onions you can taste. Um, lots of tomatoes in it, but it doesn't really taste like tomato puree or ketchup. Just nice tomatoes. Way hotter than the Tostitos one. Uh, very, very tasty. Why am I blowing on it? I'm stupid. It's hot. No, cold. Yeah. This is very nice. A seasoned chili head it won't blow your mind, uh, blow your head off. But if you're not accustomed to spice, you would have some issues with that one. <laughs> okay, down to the final one then, the K John's Reaper salsa, super hot. I've never tried this before. Um, so let's see what it says. Ingredients. Tomatoes, onion, cane sugar, habaneros, jalapenos, vinegar, garlic, Carolina reaper, chilies, salt and spices. So I suppose this is very very chili forward in the taste. <coughs> Actually, I'm gonna rinse my palate a little bit. So if you're gonna get that pure taste of that one.
<coughs> well, this is interesting. I, sus I thought this was going to be the hot hottest one. Uh, actually, no. This is quite a bit hotter. Um, it's tasty. You can tell it's a quality product. But, um, yeah, you can taste the garlic quite a lot. You can taste the sugar. I don't detect the Carolina Reapers. They have a very special flavor, but yeah, I can't really feel them in there. Um, it's a good salsa. Um, I would still go with this one though. So far this is my favorite one. I'm gonna try more in the future, but for now I'm sticking with this. <coughs> this I can really recommend. Um, if you come across this, check it out. Maybe you'll like it. I thought, mm, I mean, it's okay. I'm definitely gonna eat it. Probably not gonna buy it again though. Um, yeah. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment and uh, tell me if you tried any of these or if you have a special favorite salsa you want want me to try I'd love to hear um, also if you want to subscribe I would uh, appreciate that um, yeah that's it for today